Hi Pisces, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. Welcome to all of my new viewers and subscribers. Pisces, this is going to be your general love reading for June, okay? Cross watcher, remember, flip the roles. If I say Pisces is doing this or Pisces is feeling this way, but it's really you doing it, or it's really you feeling this way, then flip it. Pisces, if I say that it's you doing this or if it's you feeling this way and it's really your cross watcher, please flip it. These messages are general. Okay? Flip the roles. Also, time is fluid. It could already happen. Could be happening now. Um, could happen a little later in the future. Okay? Check the description box. Pisces, check out your other June videos. Check out your water signs video. Check out your um, all signs readings as well. You can follow me on all my social media. You can book a personal reading with me and you can purchase, <coughs> excuse me, you can purchase my um, spiritual bath bundles as well. Thank you ancestors and guides for giving me a message for Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's going on in Pisces love life? I'm gonna try to cater to singles and couples, okay? Oh my gosh. Right when I get on camera, my uh, my allergies and everything starts acting up. Okay, what's going on for Pisces? Ooh, Pisces, new love. Yes, yes, and yes some more. Okay, so a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could be for you singles. Okay, you're about to meet a new person. You're very passionate about this person. This person is definitely your soulmate. Definitely. Okay? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And yes, this is your soulmate. This new love is your soulmate. This is not past energy, y'all. It's not. Okay? I'm not finna do that. Oh, it's the past person coming back from the past and they're coming back new. No. No. This is a new person. Okay? This um soulmate could be someone that you had previous lifetimes with and they're about to enter into your life for this lifetime, for the first time, okay? For you couples. Now, couples, I don't know if a new person is coming and you're very passionate about them and this person is your soulmate and you're already with somebody, we're gonna have to see. Okay, for this new love, if you're already in a relationship, okay? I'm sorry, for couples, if you are already in a relationship, then no, this is not new love. Um, the person that you're with could be your soulmate and you're passionate about this person. So this could already be happening for you, uh, couples and singles. You're about to be, you know, tied down as well. Let's go ahead and pull. I want to pull from this deck because I want to see what you need to release or what you need to do, what you need to surrender to or what you need to do more often, anything in that nature to bring love into your life and to keep love into your life, okay? Give me a message for Pisces, please. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. Pisces. For June 2021. What's going on? grief you could definitely be dealing with a libra i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so to bring more love into your life and to keep love into your life is to learn to appreciate things okay um they want you to not always have to lose something for you to appreciate it they want you to appreciate the person place situation the first time but i'm seeing a flip side to this message so you could be grieving because you're wishing that people, places, situations, jobs, family, your lovers, your friends, you're wishing that they would have just appreciated you the first time. You know, why did it have to take you leaving them for them to finally appreciate you, Pisces? Okay. So to keep love, to bring love into your life is to understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you don't have to be a miser. You don't have to hold on to something so long. You know, it's okay that things change. You know, it's okay that some people may leave your life. So just, just be more appreciative and work through this grief. 
okay, of going with the flow, letting people in and letting people out, okay? Okay, I want to, I'm going to pull a random, a random message for you, but that's going to be at the end. I'm going to pull some cards from this deck because I'm going to see about the past, see if there's a past person having some feelings for you. I know some of y'all might want your past person, okay? Some of y'all might. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo or a Libra or a Capricorn. Okay, is there any messages for Pisces in regard to their past person? What's going on with their ex? All right. Two of Wands reverse. They still have not made a decision, Pisces. They haven't. What's going on with their ex? My deck reverse? No, my deck isn't reverse. Four of Cups reverse. Not making an offer. I don't see them making the offer, Pisces. They're still confused. They're still stuck. They're not making a decision. They're not listening to their intuition. Could be dealing with the Pisces or an Aries. It's too many options. They're confused. I'm seeing that Spirit, spirit has specifically blocked this person from you. With the high priestess card, spirit has specifically um, blocked it, blocked this person from you. I'm not sure why, but or maybe spirit has blocked you from this person, vice versa. All right, any other messages in regard to the past person? Ten of Wands reverse. They haven't released some type of burdens from their past. Okay, they're confused. They're daydreaming, not listening to their intuition. With the Seven of Cups. Okay, the strength card more holding back okay so i'm not seeing this going anywhere or at least not now not anytime soon go ahead and uh see what this new love is talking about okay i'm gonna pull some messages from this deck to see about your new person they will definitely be communicating with you they will be communicating with you the truth this new person could be a Pisces I see um I see the high priestess in the strength card so a Pisces or a Leo show me messages for Pisces new person please what's going on with their new person okay we have the four of cups again but it's upright so they do want to make an offer Okay, I'm seeing this this grief. Clarify the Four of Cups. Why is Pisces new person in the Four of Cups, please? The High Priestess. This is you, Pisces. This is how they see you. They see you probably still sad, you know, a little secretive, needing to listen to your intuition, still going through this grief, working on it, okay? Anything else? For Pisces, new person, please. You don't see this person coming, Pisces. You could be stuck in your head, you know, stuck being to yourself, and you don't see this new person coming. Okay, Eight of Wands, what I say? Here they come. You don't see them coming. Eight of Wands, a lot of communication. Fast communication after getting unblocked, okay? You gotta unblock yourself. I'm seeing it's you, Pisces, who's still stuck in this heartache. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Okay, the person you were dealing with could have ghosted you. You probably had to ghost this person with the High Priestess. All right. Ten of Swords. Okay, so I'm seeing this new person could be, could actually be someone that you know. Someone that, not your ex, but someone that you like, but you never got the relationship up and running. Okay. How is Pisces new person feeling about them, please? In love. Wow. Could be dealing with the Virgo. They feel like you're detached, Pisces. They feel like you're being secretive. Okay, but there's going to be something that happens. The Tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, or another uh, Pisces. Clarify the Tower. Okay, clarify the Tower. seven of wands why are you blocking this new person <laughs> why are you blocking the new person 
Okay. Pisces, you could be blocking the new person because you're still dealing with your ex. You're still dealing with this grief. Now, this may not be for everyone. Okay, this may not be for everyone. Okay, show me Pi the Pisces who have who are over their ex, please, and want new love. Show me that person, please. Show me this new love, this new love and soulmate that's coming towards Pisces. That car is someone to shuffle. Could be dealing with the Libra. I think I said that already, but show me this new person, please. Now, for some of you Pisces, this new person may not be over their ex. They may not be over their ex. Okay. The world card. Okay, this person is coming to you from a distance, a lot of travel. They may live in the next city or the next uh, town, probably the next state, but I'm seeing fast communication. Y'all are going to bump into each other and get things up and running really fast. I could be dealing with the Libra. But this is this is good karma with the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card. Great karma. Okay, with the Four of Wands, you guys are going to be moving in together, celebrating. Okay, Twin Flame connections with this new love and soulmate and passion. Could be a Leo. For some reason, it's you holding back. It's you holding back, Pisces. All right, show me this new person Pisces is going to be dealing with. Wow, the Six of Wands. Fire everywhere. It's a fire sign. Four of Wands, the Strength, and the Six of Wands. This person is coming to you from a distance with the Six of Swords traveling towards you. They could work in the next... They can work in a different city or work in a different state. With the Wheel of Fortune and Justice, this is good karma. So... You're reaping the benefits and the rewards of letting go of the past. Now this new person can come into your life. You've worked through your grief. You understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay? Wow. Some of you are still stuck on your ex. And I think you guys are going to continue being to yourselves. Um, and putting a pause on new love until you're finally over your ex. Um your ex i don't see them reaching out remember we had the two of wands reversed and the seven of cups okay i don't see them reaching out anytime soon but take the story where it resonates in your life i'm going to pull from my deck and then pull some other messages and we'll be out of here thank you ancestors and guides for giving me a message for pisces I see sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is my deck, you guys. And let's see what spirit has for you. Okay. What messages do you have for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for June 2021 in regard to their love life? You make me want to leave them. So if your person is with someone else, you make them want to leave the person that they're with. Okay? There's a bunch of different Pisces out there. I'm going to pull some more messages, okay? Any other messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to their love life? Okay, or maybe Pisces, your person makes you want to leave this person that you're with. So some of you could already be in a relationship, but you got new love coming in. And this new love makes you want to leave the person that you're with. I lied because I knew the truth might hurt you. Okay? Someone lied because they knew the truth might hurt you, Pisces. Or Pisces lied because they knew the truth might hurt you, Crosswatcher. Okay? Any other messages, please, for Pisces in regard to their love life? Okay. I was taught to be this way. So... You're like, why are you this way? Why are they like this to me? This person was taught to be this way. They grew up like that. I'm working on myself so I can give you what you deserve. Okay? So someone is working on themselves. 
This could be the person from the past, and this could be why they're not reaching out. They know they can't give you what you deserve right now, okay? Um, somebody was definitely in a third party that could still be going on now. Any messages in regard to new love for Pisces, please? New love. Any messages in regard to new love? New love. Ooh. New love for Pisces. New love, new love, new love. Okay. Okay, this connection brings you out of alignment. So some type of connection that you're in or you were in had brought you out of alignment. Okay, anything else? For new love. So your new love could have been in a connection that brought them way out of alignment, okay? And so they're healing from that, but they're still coming towards you, okay? I'm taking responsibility for my actions. So this could be you or your person. So this new person could be taking responsibility for their actions. The a connection that they were in brought them out of alignment, and they see, they see that now, so they're trying to move towards you. okay escape okay what the hell is going on somebody wants to escape with you okay let me see divine protection so this connection is divinely protected the soulmate that you're supposed to be with no one can get in between this connection at all so i'm gonna pull some random messages for you pisces and close the reading. Give me a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These messages could resonate in your love life, family life, career life. Okay. It says, new exercise program. Yeah, you're dealing with the Libra. Or you could be. Sorry for the glare. So, new exercise program. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for coming back to see me. And I'll see you for your next reading. I love y'all and y'all be safe.